the Razer Viper Ultimate, currently the fastest wireless mouse available, now in two new colors. Today we'll be looking at the exclusive Mercury Edition, currently only available on Razer's own website. Personally, I'm a huge fan of white peripherals, so upgrading to the Viper Ultimate looked like a no-brainer. As we can see here, they really went all out with this unboxing experience. I mean, for real, they put a magnetized box cover on this thing. Why? Who knows? Maybe they wanted people to use it as a portable case? Who knows? After using this mouse for quite some time, I am very impressed. And for how much you have to spend to get one of these, you damn well better be. This thing will wind up costing you $150. There's some good reasons why you'll have to pay so much for this gaming mouse. First off, the sensor. It's currently the fastest you can get, allowing you to game with a 20,000 DPI if for some reason you're recovering from a drug addiction or trying to join FaZe. Honestly, what's the difference? You get a 650 IPS or inches per second tracking speed with a 99.6% resolution accuracy. This will allow your PC to register every single fine movement you make, regardless of the speed you might be using this at. Personally, I'm good at 1600 DPI, but you do you. Now the battery is what really makes this thing shine, boasting about 70 hours of battery usage with a recharge time of around 2 hours with a charging dock. You can get the mouse at a reduced cost if you decide not to get the dock and just charge the mouse up directly using the included cable. If you wanted to, you could even use the mouse as a wired mouse using that cable, although I personally wouldn't pay the price premium of a wireless mouse for that. But nonetheless, you can do that. Battery life for me has been great, I'm not quite sure if it'll hold up to the rated usage, but even my lengthiest gaming sessions really only saw about 15% reduction and maybe 30% in the entire day. You could turn the lights off or reduce the brightness, mine is currently at around 20% to 25%, and that'll help you get to the 70 hours targeted usage out of the mouse. What makes this wireless mouse really great though? compared to any other wireless mouse on this market. This mouse comes with a optical switch which allows latency to get about 0.2 milliseconds, which is about on par with Razer's own high-end wired mice. So you really wouldn't be able to notice wireless versus wired with this mouse. It's also a pretty light mouse, albeit not the lightest, but weighing in at about 74 grams makes it a pretty good weight in my opinion. As someone who predominantly used slightly heavier mice in the past, it does feel pretty good and very natural in the hand. Although, thanks to it being wireless, it won't feel top heavy like most wired mice do. So you're probably asking, is this mouse for you? Well, for most people, no, it probably won't be. There's way cheaper mice out there that do more or less the exact same thing, but if you want a wireless mouse that you won't be putting yourself at a disadvantage with, this could be the best mouse for you. If you're left-handed, this could be a solid choice as well, since it's an ambidextrous mouse. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a pretty pricey mouse, and if you want the best of the best, or if money is no question, this could be also for you. Although, I do think at this price point, the build quality should have been better, but I kind of understand as they wanted to keep the mouse as light as possible and they were kind of stuck using these particular materials in order to keep it that light. As long as you aren't someone who will put a hole in your monitor with your mouse, this should last many years to come, but if you are rough with it, I would not expect it to last very long at all. I'm happy with it and I'll definitely be keeping it on my desk until it gives out or something drastically better releases, although I do find that it'll be very difficult to beat anytime soon.